today we're here at the third STEM day organised at RAF Scampton by the Red Arrows um, and it's all about inspiring the next generation to get involved in STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths by bringing a load of different companies and a load of different people that work inside them in different roles to tell kids what the opportunities are and how they can go out and get People say, oh girls, the more interested in language and creativity and more and more interested in STEM, which is an absolute load of rubbish. That women are certainly underrepresented um, in STEM subjects and that's from a really early age to drop off and it's kind of a national psyche problem. There's no difference, there's no matter when, there's no reason why girls and women can't get involved in those subjects, but it is something that um, as a culture we tend to push our boys into and not necessarily push the girls or encourage the girls. So this is about saying drop those barriers, um, just ignore them, they, they, they're, they're fictional. Um, if you're a girl, if you're a boy, if you enjoy the subject, go and do it. Um, it's just so misunderstood what being a mathematician or being a scientist is, um, that, that days like this are about broadening people's horizons and, and showing them what you can do with a maths degree. With a maths degree, you don't just have to type numbers together, um, you can tackle crime, you can model the body to fight cancer, you can look at climate change, you can get um, people to space, you can send nano spaceships to the next star system. The you know, possibilities are as wide ranging as you can dream up. Um, so it's about just getting the word out there really. For most of my child life, uh, like a primary school, I was told that I couldn't be an engineer because I was a girl. Um, but then obviously with work experience I went to Cobham and they were really good and showed me just what I could do and that I could succeed just as well as the boys. It's quite disappointing really to think that some females don't think they'll be able to do it because there's no reason why we can't do it. If not, we can do it better because I feel like women are slightly more perfectionist than men, so we have more of an aspiration to get things spot on rather than just go, yeah, that'll do. So if anything, we're technically better engineers. <laughs> Uh, it's certainly one of the highlights of our calendar and to have all the kids along and enjoying the day, it's, uh, yeah, it's brilliant. And hopefully we'll play a key role in helping to inspire these kids. I myself remember being one of those, those kids at that age, uh, looking for something to do, not sure I wanted to go. And I saw Red Arrows display and that was it. I wanted to do that and I didn't let go of it and feel incredibly lucky to be stood here in a red suit today. So even if it's just one of those kids today that get that bug, get the switch that gets flicked to, to give them inspiration to do something, then I feel we've done our job. It is unique, and especially for Lincolnshire. Um, obviously, it's something that the EBP do quite a lot of. We put on um, quite a few events over the year. Um, this is one of our larger events, and then obviously we do the Lincolnshire show as well. Um, but it is important. It's important as well for the EBP to, to engage with the young people and engage with the businesses and link that together. But it's a fantastic venue, fantastic setting, and not many schools can say that they work for the Red Arrows.